Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Atomic Heart running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5560U running on the B-Link SCR5 mini PC. Now if you've paid attention to any of the other Atomic Heart videos that I've released so far, you can see that the game actually performs pretty well on this low-end hardware, especially considering we are talking about a brand new title. In general, it does seem to be pretty well optimized. Now what you're looking at the screen right here is one of the more intense areas that I've encountered in the game so far. I still have not made it to anything exterior even though i've been playing the game for quite a while now it really seems like a good section of the game just takes place in these interior areas which is pretty good because of the fact that the performance is the best in these kinds of sections though in this specific area that you're looking at things are far more open there's a lot of objects around and the performance can actually end up dipping pretty low sometimes we do have all of the graphics settings set to their lowest and we are using fsr at the balance preset i tested it out between balanced and and the performance preset and there really wasn't that much of a gain to be had with the performance preset so you're better off just playing the game with balance that way you get the best possible visual quality while still maintaining a decent enough level of performance it's certainly not perfect and a lot of the times you are going to be below 60 but it never got to the point where i felt like it was an unplayable experience though the one percent lows could see some pretty major dips in specific areas the absolute worst that i saw though was pretty much a cutscene, which means that the level of performance you get in that is really not as important as long as when you're in the gameplay everything is smooth and consistent enough then that's really all that matters although it can be a little annoying to have to look at a cutscene that's in some areas struggling to even get 24 fps but for the most part, across the board, the level of performance that you're going to get out of this is going to be more than adequate enough. And it really seems like this iGPU is still enough to get some good results here. And by the CPU usage that we're seeing here, it seems like if you're rocking one of the i3s that also has a Radeon 6 in it, then you're pretty much in the clear. And this also is with the new drivers that actually dropped today that seem to be optimized for Atomic Heart. I'll definitely be taking a look at that with the other chips again to see if there was any noticeable improvements in performance but they were all already performing really well but in general it really seems like this game had a lot of attention to detail put into it in terms of making sure that it can run on pretty much any kind of hardware and that is pretty fantastic to see overall i went in with some very low expectations and atomic heart has managed to actually blow me away so i'm gonna keep working my way through the game while also testing out different systems before we do one big compilation of all of the different Different systems and comparing them across each other in this brand new title. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one.